Hi, I'm John Ludy, and we are here in my uh, location here in Tickville. See, Tickville, and I am I'm trying an experiment here online. I uh, downloaded a uh, instructions for a solar cooker using one of those reflective uh, windshield heat shield thingies, uh, three dollar four or five dollar piece of nothing that you get at Walmart and um, it's uh, it seems to be working (laughs) this is really funny Uh, the instructions are basically take one of those and velcro the bottom uh, both sides of the bottom I just use some wire and stick it on top of a um, the open end of a bucket in this case, I didn't use a bucket. I'm using, uh, this, is, this is a perfect case of me always finding ways to use things that uh, were not intended by the manufacturers. And um, here we have a Smoky Joe grill that I've taken the uh, grills out of and have inserted this uh, aluminum foil guy here and put one of the grills back on top to stabilize it and give a platform for what I have, which is basically one of these... Um, I'm doing this very unprofessionally, but uh, this, this uh, cheddar broccoli uh, dollar forty nine uh, side dish. And what I'm doing is I've got a um, little baking pan and a plastic oven bag and I've got you know some nice sun and uh, I've had this thing in here for I don't know probably about something like um, maybe 10 minutes and I don't have a thermometer but I can't even touch this thing successfully and it seems like the uh, moisture, the two cups of water that I put in there are gradually being absorbed into this uh, pan, uh, into the uh, mix rather. So this actually is turning out to be um, a relatively successful experience and this just kind of tickles me because this whole setup, I mean there are people that sell solar ovens for a couple hundred bucks and basically the uh, um, uh, barring the Smoky Joe, um, this setup has cost me a uh, windshield uh, thingus and some uh, wire. <laughs> and that's basically it. So total investment for a um, solar oven that seems to be doing the job is um, uh, three, four bucks. So there you go. John Ludy's helpful uh, ghetto fabulous survival tips.